Hi, this is Brendan Cronin. I'm going to talk you through an intraocular lens removal and replacement, some of the issues that can arise. It's really important that you understand these if you're going to consider having a procedure. We really need to divide, divide this procedure up into two groups. Lenses that have been placed in the eye fairly recently, within two to three months, are often really very easy to remove. The procedure is quite routine. In some ways, it, it's even easier than the cataract surgery itself, so the, the process of of taking out the cataract and putting the lens in. That's because these lenses haven't scarred themselves into place. You can see a video here of me removing a lens that hasn't been in for too long. The lens was sort of nice and mobile in the eye. It's cut up into small pieces and removed. It's quite a routine procedure. Remember, no eye surgery is easy. It's routine. It's complex microsurgery on the eye, but we do it all the time. You know, do hips and knees or you know, generally surgeons who, who do cataracts won't do eyelids and things like that. This is what we do. And I like to think we do it really well, but it doesn't mean it's easy. So in a procedure like this, where the lens has been removed within a couple of months of it going into the eye, that is really quite a routine procedure. That needs to be compared to when a lens has been in the eye for some time. And in that case, it can be extremely difficult to remove the lens from what's called the capsule and that's the natural tissue in the eye that we used that originally held the cataract and subsequently holds the intraocular lens. This capsule contracts around the intraocular lens that's in the eye and over time that makes it much more difficult to dissect the intraocular lens and separate it from this capsule. You can see here in this video I'm removing a lens that's opacified so it's gone very dark. It almost looks like a pair of sunglasses affecting the patient's vision. This is an extremely rare issue to happen. It's generally due to a fault in lens manufacturing. There was a small batch of lenses some years ago from one company this occurred to. But you can see I'm really having to work quite hard to remove the lens from this capsule. Most of the more complex or difficult complications that arise from intraocular lens removal occur in these cases where the lens has been in for some time. And really on, overwhelmingly, they have to do with what lens goes into the eye subsequently. If the capsule is unstable or breaks during the intraocular lens removal, the lens can't simply be placed where it was originally. Lenses might need to be clipped to the iris. They might need to sit in front of the capsule in the eye, or sometimes they even need to be stitched into the eye. And obviously this adds further surgery and a whole extra layer of complexity to the, to the original procedure. Sometimes the lens that we plan to put in your eye with the intraocular lens replacement just can't be put into place. So it's just important that you understand the longer a lens has been in, the more issues you're likely to have with the secondary lens that goes in. It doesn't mean they're likely, it just means they become more likely. So complications you should expect after the surgery are common eye surgery complications. Mild redness, irritation and pain. Your eye of course will be sore for a few hours afterwards and you may be sensitive to light with a dry irritated eye for a while. The pressure in the eye can go up and there can be inflammation. These are really common problems that happen with any eye surgery, but they need to be differentiated from the more complex issues that tend to happen when the lens has been in for a longer time and the removal is more complex. Of course, these are things that I will have weighed up with you in the consultation prior to surgery. It's not something we undertake uh, ad, ad lib, we, we don't undertake it on a whim, but if a patient's vision really is compromised for, for a number of reasons by the lens that's in their eye, um, then obviously removing it um, may be a reasonable option. People will always ask, could I have worse vision after the procedure? Well, of course that's conceivable, it's possible, but obviously if we thought it was likely, we wouldn't proceed with things. The complications can always happen in even what other what would be otherwise routine eye surgery. So yes, people can have infections and, and, and lose vision conceivably, but the rates of these are very, very small, one in thousands. The procedure typically, it, as long as the operating environment is safe, if complications occur, such as needing these fancier lenses and things like that, as in second procedures, all of these complications can be managed. If you have any questions about your surgery, or any concerns, you can always cancel it right up until the time the anaesthetist has started putting you to sleep. And if you have any questions, just feel free to contact me at the Queensland Eye Institute. Just call up, leave a message and I'll call you back and I'm more than happy to discuss these issues with you.